morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Where do you begin when you have something to say, but you don't know how to say it? When no one has taught you how to say what you need to say? And then one day you wake up and you find that your journey was all about people's expectations. And then you learned how to expect from people what you did not teach them or what they had never learned. So let's start life over. Here we are in Saturn and it is moving into Aquarius, which means that it's a new day dawning on us. A lot of people are waking up to things that they had not realized they had done, said, things that offended others, things that healed and loved on others. But today, I want to bring to mind that, and a scripture that says, train a child in the way that you want them to go. It's in uh, Proverbs. Train a child the way you want them to go from the beginning of their life and their birthing. And that's the way they will go. How many of us have really did that? I know that where I came from, I was expected to be and to do things, but I wasn't taught. And it's okay that I wasn't taught, but I had to realize that I wasn't taught in order to change it. You see, life is transformational, but the transformation comes through those who decide to transform what doesn't seem right. When you keep going around that mountain over and over again, and you keep having challenges, there's something that you alone can fix. The others may not come with you, but you can do it. And so train a child in the way that they should go. So from the beginning of my life, I've seen a lot of things that um, I didn't understand and I didn't know. And I looked to my parents to help me to understand. So what I gathered from my parents is what I took into um, my life in relationships, my life with my children. And today what I find myself teaching and also asking my children and those that I work with to understand about themselves and their children is expectations just don't work if you don't teach. You know, if you have a child, you're telling them how to wash the dishes, but you don't teach them, you're not training them. If you have a child that you expect to go to college, but you didn't go and you're not showing them the way to get to college, how do they get there? You understand what I'm saying? So in this here time where we're coming into a revolutionary um, time of energy with Saturn and Aquarius coming together, a lot of people are going to be getting epiphanies about themselves, things that we should have changed. Things that we, we should have gotten when we were younger, but we are the generation that behold the power of transformation. To change things that we didn't have doesn't mean that we blame others or we're angry. Say, you know, for instance, if your mother and father were not a part of your life, if you were adopted, the wonderful thing about that is, is that you have the power to change what you didn't receive from them. Your children are not expected to be but you will give them the formula of living life. You will be there for your children. You see, it's not an easy process and it's not easy to really get this information, but the thing is, is you train a child in the way that you want them to go. You don't buy for them. You don't tell them to do this, that, and the other. You work with them along the way. Am I a parent that understood this? I already said it. I didn't because I was not taught this way. But because I, I looked at the journey from the beginning until this point, you know, I've gathered the information and I see where the problem is. The problem is, is that we will say scriptures, <laughs> but we will not become them. How do you train a child in the way to go? The same way that you go to work and you're trained to do a job. You see, people will do it for money, but they won't do it for love. They will not overcome situations or go within for the sake of love. 
I believe that in this season of our lives, we will because spirit is calling. Deep calls unto deep. You know, and I just had to come on and, and say that because it, it came up in my mind. It's like train a child in the way that you want them to go. And did you do that? I didn't. I showed them a lot and I think that they learned. I did talk to my children. But at this point, I would talk to my grandkids even more. And I'll talk to my daughters and my, my sons more about training, to train their children. Because in my life, what I want and what I feel compelled to is the generations changing. How through training, if I train leaders, I want my grandchildren and my children to be trained to understand. I want the generations of my grandchildren when they're having children to train their children. Not control now, but train them. Because as a child is coming up, even a baby, when they're crying for milk, um, you can indicate whether you're spoiling a child or whether you are you know, giving them a balanced emotional standpoint for them to grow up with. You have children that are emotional because of their economic, social, and biological situations. You got so many things that we have to look at to, to change our uh, communities and our cities and states that our political leaders really have not looked at. They train their children to do things, to go to college and to finish. They do. We got to get into that same mode, training. You know, stop running out to work. Find that you have work within you that you can create at home. Get out of the conditioning of the mindset of, of yesterday and the way that society was doing things. Break, break those chains because those chains are what limits our family. Oh, I got to go to work. Look, I don't have time for that. You know, you do have time for it, mom and dad. You have time, mother and father, to sit down when you have a baby. Number one, I was telling the leadership, why, why would you invest in someone um, sexually when you know they ain't worth it? And one young lady said something that was powerful. Look at this person, someone told her, Latanya. And make sure that you want your children to look like them and act like them and all of that. This is where you're going to go to the beginning because, you know, if you got someone that runs away from their responsibility, the chances are that your children will have that mindset. A lot of people don't want to look at biological, but it's there. Men are running. Train your, your, your men, children up, ladies and gentlemen to be men, women and gentle, ladies and gentlemen, train your, your, your uh, young ladies up that they won't settle. Train men to be confident leaders in their families. And then we'll be able to change, transform some of this stuff that's going on in our generations. We won't be able to do it if we don't start at the beginning. Go back to the time where Women weren't giving in to sexual um, circumstances the way that they do now. They're even buying men. Are you kidding me? No way. Running? No way. Why? How did we get there? Training to see mothers and fathers living this way? A lot of people might get mad today. I don't really care. We want healing but we don't have responsibility for the actions and what we show our children. Listen, we all made mistakes, but it's time for a change. It's even time for people to grow up. Women and men over 45, 50 years old, you don't know why you know, you're in a life that you're in, but you chose it. Everything that you have, what you're doing, you chose it. And you just continue to go, you know, along with the same type of life. And guess what? The life that you have that you're miserable with is something that you saw or you didn't like about someone in your family when you were younger. 
a lot of people don't want to go back to the beginning, but that's where you are. You know, I've been around people that laugh at the expense of other people's hurt. And all of that is laid up in their beginning. They were hurt by somebody. And so now they're happy that they can give, you know, pain to others. Do you know that karma comes back? Karma comes to deal with you, good and bad. So whatever you suffer today, remember what you put out before. What you didn't do for your children, you're going to have to pay the piper. Why? Because you made the choice of planting the seed. Make your children a lifelong priority, especially if they're the ones that are there listening. Listen, I, I have some, some challenges. I have a son that's 35 years old that I haven't seen in two or three years. Mentally ill. You try to you know, train them, but they have a destiny that they want to fulfill. That's the other part of life. You cannot control your children. So there's so much more to be said, but you know, go into the beginning, train your children. This will make a big difference in the way of society because even when you have a child that's running wild, if they ain't got other peers that's running wild to help them to run wild, they won't be able to do that. It's time for us to make movements in our communities and change the way that we handle our children. Why? Because people are talking about kids what they do wrong, but what, who's talking about the examples that set at home? I'm gonna have to get off of this, but I'm telling you, that's how I feel. Ain't nothing changing in the world until we begin to take a look at ourselves and change us. The generations to come will change when we change. I am the next phase of my mother and father. What I didn't do is get on drugs, but the dysfunction I brought into my children's life. One day I heard myself and I saw myself and I said, it's time for you to change. I broke down crying. It's time for us to make moves and strides. People are talking about how to make money. Listen, you're not gonna ever make enough money until you get enough of you in your system and you touch the hem of the garment of your soul, you ain't gonna never make enough money. When you get the notion out of your head about making enough money and having material things and you get a balance in your spiritual life, that's when things are going to change. Now, until we meet again, you remember Aquarius and Saturn is meeting and Jesus, told the people in Luke 22 where to meet the water bearer. Do some homework and look at the constellation of the water bearer. And then you tell me that the Bible don't line up. Jesus had a mission. Train your children how to have a mission from the beginning of their life. My people, we talked about that yesterday in my leadership class. Am I coming on to sell you anything? Yep, I'm selling you life from my own mistakes. Turn it around. Do I regret anything that I went through? No, why? Because I could change it and not blame people and say that I, I am the master of my ship. The host that carries this body because I am a spiritual being. The host that carries this here body, I am in charge of it. I am. No longer am I tossed to and fro by the winds of change or by the things that others have said and what they do. You see, I came up in dysfunction. I didn't bind it only. I learned how to change dysfunction within me. Am I perfect? No way. Every day I get up with something I want to do different. And that's what I'm going to do. And the people that are around me are going to do the same, or I will not be a part. Why? Because I came from a place called destitute. I was born in the projects, but the project will be mine to evolve. See, I will build 
and I will work with projects, but I will not be a part of the projects that I came from any longer. I'm done with that. I'm teaching people how to come out of the projects, how to create projects. You see, you change your life. No one else can do it. People can talk to you, they can pray for you, but the, at the end of the day, it's gonna be up to you to change you. For all of those that are running after material things, listen, you keep running after them. Every day, something new is gonna be created material. But guess what? Can you get that material and change? Can you, can you get a new house every day? Can you get a new, because that's the appetite of people, the flesh, where'd it come from? society, all of the people that want you to purchase these things. Invest your money in you and your family. Invest your money in a better tomorrow. And um, until we meet, peace. <laughs>